Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beast since I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday. Today we're getting our life together. That is the whole plan. Starting with a workout. I haven't worked out in so long. I have been eating leftover um, sweet potato casserole with marshmallows basically on top of everything. So I really just need to get my life together today. Not just with being healthy and strong, but like the house, my planner, the calendar, even my roots are getting done today. So. Let's go as we go through it all. Also, I just finished the workout. I'm trying not to puke, and that's why I look like this. So let's get into it. All right, so we are starting out with just laying out my mat and stretching, just getting warmed up. Then I'm gonna go over to the treadmill and turn on my light. It's like one of those seasonal lights that are supposed to help fight like seasonal depression and all of that since we are losing sunlight. Everyone asked me, does it work? I have no idea, but in my head it does, it could be a placebo effect, could actually work, who knows. So anyway, I'm just doing my stretch. Then today was the first day that I started Couch to 5K app, and I'm not a runner. I actually have a screw in my foot from a surgery I had a really long time ago, but it's just a goal that I wanted to set out and try, so here we are. Today was day two and I'm doing this voiceover and it feels great. I mean, my legs are jello, but it feels really good. Here's my honey bringing me some coffee. One thing that I do on the treadmill that a lot of people cannot relate to is that I read, but the couch to 5K, at least for the first two days, is like walking for a certain amount of time and then jogging for a certain amount of time. So more so on the walking, I can read my um, Kindle. And right now I'm on the last book of the Benevolent series called Protecting What's Mine. And so far so good. That whole series by Lucy Score is amazing. And then on Black Friday, I signed up for E2M Premium. You know I already did E2M, but E2M, E2M Premium is quicker workouts. So that is a workout that I did a full body and it just felt so good to be back. And I was like, dear God, please keep me healthy so I can continue to work out. All right, so I got the kids off of school, got myself showered. The house is still kind of a mess. Um, and I'm on my way to get my hair done. Well, that's really right. and my one row of extensions moved up, so it always feels good once that's done. Um, and then after that, we really need to get our life together. The office is just a full-blown hot mess. It's just like the spot where everything gets thrown into, like after a party or a holiday, or decorate with me for things to be like sorted and gone through. So I have a lot of stuff I'm gonna be donating from there today. Um, I think I told you this in another video, but we donated our old 12-foot um, Christmas tree to the church slash preschool and they absolutely love it it's in the front of the building and um, all the kids are going to make ornaments for it so uh, they were asking for any ornament donations and i have a ton that i can give to them we're finished decorating all of our trees and we still have a ton of ornaments left over so that's definitely on the list for today i gotta grab some groceries i don't even have dish soap right now i don't know how that happens like i swear i'm like i try to be on my a game all the time but still always need something or order groceries and I'm like crap I need this or I leave the grocery store and I need to order groceries but that's just me basically I just need to get control back over my home so that is what we were doing today but first let's get control over these dying on roots fresh hair feels so much better oh my gosh thank goodness fresh hair is like the best feeling ever I think it's like a fresh blow dry too but also fresh nails can't speak to that because I need my nails done but don't got time for that today so on our way home just gonna start 
tackling it room by room. That's what I keep telling myself, room by room. It's a little bit too overwhelming now that I don't even think I'd be able to like make a list. So I think I'm gonna start with the most stressful room first, which is usually the kitchen, but it's actually going to be the office because like I said, it's a hot mess. So go, we're gonna start there and then move on. I'm home, I'm fed, I'm coffeeed, and here is the office. I wasn't lying. Dun, dun, dun. Where do I even start? All right, here we go. Tell me please that somebody can relate to this, but ever since like, I can think of like middle school, maybe even before that, when I see something overwhelming like this, I instantly just feel tired. Or should I say if it's something overwhelming that I don't feel like doing, my body instantly is like, okay, let's take a nap. That's how I was feeling during this because it's just too much, like it really is too much. So one thing that I wanna do this year when I'm putting away my Christmas decor is be mindful of what I want and what I don't want. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I already donated it after this video, like three or four bins of Christmas stuff, like ornaments and just like random things that I know that we're not gonna use. And now being the house, you know, that hosts the parties and all that stuff, accumulating the party stuff is a lot too. So I'm trying to make bins by colors, like silver stuff, pink stuff. So. That is what I'm doing in the basement. Thank God we have that space. Otherwise, I don't know how we would do this. I also need to set up that delivery driver. Um, and, you know, it's just for like anybody who delivers anything. Mailman, not just drivers. But one of those things I set up out front with like lots of snacks and water in it. Um, so I'm probably going to do that today. But basically, you know, it can be overwhelming, especially Christmas decor. I have way more Christmas decor than any other type of decor in the house, like any seasonal decor. So fine, I just really pushed through. No part of me wanted to do this, but I wanted the end result, so I let that motivate me. It's like my office and my closet always kind of replicate how I'm feeling inside. Like if the office is clean and my closet is clean, I'm feeling pretty good and on my A game, but if they're a hot mess, that's how I'm feeling in my mind too. That's just how I am. So does anybody else get tired when they get overwhelmed? Like they just wanna like fall asleep? What is it like the goats that like when they get scared they fall over? Like that's me but with like stuff that I don't want to do. This actually took me hours to do like sorting and organizing what I was gonna keep, what I was gonna donate. Luckily, Chris brought everything to the basement for me, so at least I didn't have to do that, but I'm the one that has to go through it because I'm the one that knows what I want and what I don't want, right? You can see it's dark out. Thank you, Winter, for that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just, it feels so good to have it done. So just push through. If you have something you're putting off, just push through. It's totally worth it. Now that my kids are a little bit older, their help is actually helpful. Carter just was getting ready to go to soccer practice and decided to help me, which was great, such a sweetheart. 
but when I can like tell them what to do and they actually do it and they like come in and like want to help with stuff, it's great. It makes me so happy. Same thing with like our Thanksgiving meal that we brought to my mother-in-law's house. They helped me cook. It was a complete hot mess. You'll see later my stove is disgusting when I clean it because I hadn't had a chance to like really deep clean it since we cooked for Thanksgiving because it's just been a whirlwind around here. We've had sicknesses and just like all kinds of stuff going on. So it just feels really good to get back on track. But them cooking with me in the kitchen was stressful in a lot of ways, but also like I loved it. And I feel like we created a lot of core memories, just like looking around in the kitchen with my kids there helping me with the best feeling. So you'll see these frames as well as like a magazine rack I got. I'm going to be doing like a little living room refresh. So I'm waiting for the last couple of pieces to get in and then I'll put that into a video. The fact that we're to the cleaning portion of like wiping everything down feels so good. You know, I usually love organizing, but not when it's like overwhelming like that. Like that's not my favorite. I love the aftermath, but I don't love that. If it's like organizing like a drawer or a cabinet where I can make it look aesthetically pleasing and organized, that's the kind of organizing I enjoy, not like putting seasonal decor into bins. But anyway, I noticed as I was cleaning this, I was like, I think that like, I would just feel better if everything was nicely placed on the cork boards within the cork boards. So that's why I'm doing that. And it did make it feel neater in here. It's such a little detail, but it definitely feels neater to me. I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere. They keep saying I'll be fine, but how you know that I'll be there? When it feels like I'm lying every time, someone asks how it goes, and I save the details that actually mean something. Mm -hmm. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready, let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. So I had Tanner's new sight words in here that I needed to laminate because I make him like a little ring of laminated sight words to practice. And then obviously I could use it with Ella too as she um, gets better like with her sight words and everything. But this is one of my mom tools that I highly recommend. I've had it for a very long time, but it's a laminator. I got it when it was on sale and a printer. Like if you have a spot for it, it's very helpful with school and even for me, for me with like different planning stuff, I like to use my printer and my laminator. So now that that's done, we are just vacuuming. You can't really see because the lighting is good, but there's a lot of stains on this rug. And I was thinking about um, like putting an area rug in here, but we have so much flooring left over from when we just got the upstairs rugs ripped up. And I'm debating like just at least getting a quote for how much this room would be because it's pretty bad, the stains. I told you guys a lot of times, but if you're new here, we got like builder grade um, rugs and once something hits those rugs, it is not coming out. I have shampooed them, I use different stain removers and it doesn't come out. But anyway, I am cooking Chris and I a super quick dinner. The kids already had spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. Um, Chris is dropping off Carter at soccer and I'm just making this quick dinner, which is just like 
we had no groceries. We're trying to eat like pretty clean. So I'm doing ground turkey with taco seasoning, a little bit of salsa, and then there's like this brown rice quinoa mix that I don't really love the taste of anymore. It's very garlicky. If you've ever had it, you might know what I'm talking about, but when it was mixed in with um, the taco meat and the seasonings, it was great. So I was thinking like I'm making us like healthy slop basically, but it actually came out really good. We were both very presently, pleasantly surprised, but definitely ordering groceries today um, and getting everything that I need for the meal plan that I will be sending out later today. love that avocado mash from Costco by the way that was very good in it but anyway running the dishwasher and time for some hot chocolate office is done it took hours like actually hours to get that under control donated a lot Chris already dropped it off with a donation on the way okay to dropping off Carter at soccer um, and I made Chris and I like a super healthy dinner it was like it was one of those dinners that like you need groceries but it was like perfect it's really good actually, surprisingly. But now we're making hot chocolate for the kids. They're all bathed. This is their dessert for tonight. Oh, careful, that can be hot, right? But I'm going now. I'll help you. Where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too So while my cuties are enjoying their hot chocolate, I'm just gonna get started on cleaning up the kitchen. You see um, the ice maker is not on. I have to say guys for how expensive that thing is it is very high maintenance like we have to clean it out with vinegar like once a week it like starts blinking and like doesn't work i love it the ice like is my favorite it sounds so funny because it's just ice but like once you have that type of ice you don't want to use your fridge ice anymore like i want that in my iced coffee i want it in my iced water but it's like it's hard to keep it working if you have any tricks if you have one please let me know there's also this gorgeous white and gold one on Amazon that I wish I would have saw before this, but it's all good. Um, so now I'm just going through the fridge, throwing stuff at Chris, who's then throwing stuff into the garbage. But the fridge, like I said, it's just been a whirlwind with going away and then um, having Everly's birthday party and having Thanksgiving, you know how things can get. So everything needs a good wipe down, got rid of the old food already. Then I was gonna be prepping some of our produce and it just, it feels so much better ordering groceries when your fridge is clean and you know exactly what you need.
Okay, we usually don't have this massive abundance of cheese that we have right now, but for my baked macaroni and cheese, you need like 45 different types of cheese, so we have a lot of leftover cheese. Uh, but something that Chris and I are trying to do with, um, you know, our health journey that we're on is have a little less dairy just because it is an inflammatory, not cutting it out completely, but just being mindful of how much we're having each day. Um, so definitely not having the baked mac and cheese anytime soon, but it was seriously so delicious. We ate it like after Thanksgiving, we took the leftovers home because somebody made like a regular mac and cheese and we made the gluten-free one. So there was a lot left over and we have been obsessed with it. So definitely making that again next Thanksgiving. One tip I have is we have like a leftover drawer instead of like putting your produce in here because you want your produce where you can see it. So leftover drawer and then produce is stored up top. But now that that's done, before I can prep all of our produce and put that away, I need to put the dishes away that are out here so I can go ahead and wash what's in the sink and then be able to prep and wash my produce. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too. I wonder where are you now? Should have told you that you're beautiful This was a very easy prep because there wasn't like a ton of cutting or anything like that. The one thing that we fly through that I like cannot keep in my fridge is strawberries and you don't want to buy too many at once because you don't want them going bad and a lot of times when we get them they're already like half mushy so we are going to be buying strawberries today when I do my grocery shopping but they, it just doesn't last in our house because that's all of the kids love that um, but anyway trying to store the celery because like a good snack is like celery with peanut butter plus we love to use celery in our chicken noodle soup that we have weekly I still need to show you I think I did show you on here one time how we make our chicken and ramen noodle soup it's very good again don't give up we're holding on for what it's worth i'll try to change we can't fix our broken hearts loving me is not so goddamn easy as i think you try your best to hold up but i see you giving in you know that we shouldn't keep it up like this we hurt each other's feelings on and on 
Now that we are done with that, it's time to scrub everything down. Again, lighting is everything. You can't even tell how disgusting and crusted on everything is on the island. And usually I like to use a Swedish dishcloth with really hot water to wipe everything up first, but I literally don't have any clean because they're all in the washer. Like I'm just telling you, it just feels like everything in my routine is like not there. Like I'm just slowly getting back to routine, even down to having Swedish dishcloths clean. Like I just really needed to get my life together. So I'm not somebody that's like, oh, my house has to be perfect all the time. But one thing that I think is absolutely like just grosses me out in my own home, not really other people's homes because it's not mine, but a dirty sink, like with like old food in the sink and then old food on the cooktop, like are two of my like absolute like things that I cannot stand. So I'm always cleaning both. But as you can see, the my range here was neglected and needs a whole bunch of love. It's so gross. Got this boy on my mind that I can't live without Oh, his eyes are killing me And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him Before I go ahead and vacuum, I'm just putting some oils in the diffuser. I'm doing lemon and linen scent just to make the kitchen smell nice and clean. So it smells so, so good. And then I have to make more cleaner. So I'll be doing that. I'm just using one capful of Thieves Cleaner and um, some essential oils. You can put whatever essential oils you want in it to customize the scent, which is one thing that I absolutely love about it. Now I'm just doing a super quick vacuum and then I'll run the narwhal to do like the mop and vacuum, but there's just like huge crumbs and pieces of food that really stay underneath the cabinets and underneath the island. All right, we've done enough for today. So now it's time to unwind. I've been loving having peppermint tea before bed. I just feel like it's very soothing on your belly and just refreshing and cozy. What's your favorite tea? I've definitely been on a tea kick lately. So anyway, let's make some tea and then start our planning. 
I'm gonna in the first part of the planning like not really talk that much and then towards the end once I put all my cutesy stickers on I'll let you know how I start to plan. So basically step one when I'm planning is set up your planner, put your stickers on. I put stickers on every Tuesday and Sunday since that's when my videos go live and I can keep up with my content calendar there. Um, and then I go through my phone and write down anything that I have in my phone and put it into my planner. Okay, it's later than I wanted it to be. What time is it? Hello? 11.10, so it's time for me to get my butt to bed, especially if I'm trying to be consistent with working out, but I feel really good that I got our house mainly back in order, and I know it'll feel much better tomorrow. I still have to do the dining room. Um, it's just full of some like outside decor that I didn't get to decorate. Um, we have Christmas lights on our house, but we didn't get to like do like the smaller decorations on the porch and things like that. So that's definitely on my list for hopefully this week. Um, but I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned. I did not get to send out my newsletter this week. I did do like a meal plan if you go on my Pinterest. Um, but I do still plan on doing my weekly newsletter. I just wanted to make my Christmas free printables first before I sent that out. So that's on the list for tomorrow make the printables today when you're seeing this that's on my list for today is make the printables as well as send out the newsletter so if you're interested in that it's free just go to tiffanybeeston.com and scroll to the bottom and you'll see like a little spot to enter your email address i don't spam you with anything i just send a weekly update with like things that are going on in our life and just like content schedules and all of that but anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you on sunday broken